But someone, are you trying to say the white man has not made a microchip? No, he made the chip. Exactly. But let's stop the market of the beast. Exactly. But let's stop the market of the beast. Exactly. But let's stop the market of the beast. And I've seen this video that um, the Apostle Tahar did, or the Elder Tahar did from our GMS, and he's basically saying that um, the scientists are coming up with um, some neurological devices that they're going to put uh, in the cerebellum, which is located in the front of the forehead. So he's trying to say, like, since that is happening, that the mark of the beast is just a chip. You go to fight for this image. You go to kill for this image. Now I can look at you and realize you wearing the mark of the beast. You love his philosophy, his Christianity, his democracy, his democracy, his way of life. That's the mark in your forehead, in your mind. Your mind is all the way in tune with this world and America and its regime. And your the mark in your right hand, your right hand in the Bible represents your strong hand, meaning this is the hand you go to fight for. Go What I'm here to share with you is a testimony of where I lived. The people I spent my time with. I was an engineer for 32 years. And that's not important. But what is important is what I have to share with you. Many people have asked me, isn't there some way around this, this device, this microchip? Could a glove be made with a microchip in it so I could still get food? Mănușe, în loc să-l pun pe pielea mea sau în trupul meu, în trupul meu, acest microchip. We have the greatest answer and that is Jesus Christ. Avem cel mai mare răspuns, da, Domnul Isus Hristos. In 1966, I was, I was put on a project. În 1966 am fost, mi s-a dat un proiect. I had been with IBM and, and uh, now I was with General Electric. Lucrasem pentru compania IBM și acum lucram pentru compania General Electric. The project was to develop a little microcircuit. Proiectul era ca să proiectez, să concep un circuit foarte mic. That would connect the nerve ends on a broken spine back together. Ca să conectez terminațiile nervoase atunci când s-a rupt șira spinării, să fac o conexie electrică la a nervilor. This seemed like a good idea to me and something that uh, that I would want to be a part of. Mi s-a părut o idee foarte bună și ceva care îmi plăcea plăcere să particip în așa un studiu. I was a very zealous engineer. I worked very hard. I worked many long hours. Eram un uh, inginer plin de zel, îmi plăcea să lucrez și mă dedicam și lucrau more multe. I was a design engineer and used Boolean algebra, Boolean equations to design computer circuits. Și uh, eram uh, un proiectant, inginer proiectant și foloseam uh, calcule matematice ca să fac aceste uh, proiecte de aceste circuite. We did not we were not successful with the young lady with the broken with a severed spine. N-am putut și n-am avut succes cu tânăra fată care și-a rupt și raspinării nervii au fost rupt să putem să-i reconectăm. And as time went along, it looked like they were going to close our project down. We had learned many things, but she was not doing well. Am învățat prin acest proiect multe lucruri, dar femeia pe care vreau să o tratăm nu s-a vindecat deloc, nu, nu a făcut niciun progres. Much of our research data had been publicized. 
multe din lucrurile pe care noi le-am făcut, le-am cercetat cu această ocazie, au fost publicate. And some men came to us that we were to find out were from the government. Niște oameni au venit la noi și după am aflat mai târziu că erau din partea guvernului. They were from the CIA and the FBI. Veneau de la CIA și FBI. And they asked us to develop a little microchip for identification. Și ne-au cerut să de, să proiectăm acest microchip pentru identificare. This was to be used not in human beings, not in animals, but to be put in drug shipments to catch drug dealers. Acest sistem va fi urma să fie pus nu în animale sau în oameni, ci va fi pus cu transportul de droguri, de medicamente ca să identifice pe traficanții de droguri. They came with a lot of money. Și au venit și mi-au oferit foarte mulți bani. And so we were willing to do whatever we could. Așa că am fost gata să facem tot ce ni s-a cerut. I want to tell you at this point that I was not a Christian and I did not want anything to do with Christians. La timpul acesta în care eu lucream la acest proiect, vreau să vă spun că nu eram credincios și nici nu aveam să am de a face nimic cu credința în Dumnezeu și cu viața de credință. We had developed the first identification device. Am de, uh, proiectat și am conceput primul uh, aparat de identificare. And it was completed in the early 70s. Și a fost completat acest proiect în începutul anilor 70. They came back to us and they said we want something better than that. Și au venit înapoi la noi și ne-au spus vrem ceva mai bun decât ce ați făcut până acum. And so we said if you have enough money we can develop anything. Și le-am spus dacă aveți bani destui nu putem să concepem orice să proiectăm ce vreți voi. I was not alone there. There were a hundred people involved in the project. Proiectul acesta nu era numai al meu. Singur lucram la el. Era o sută de oameni care lucrau împreună cu mine. Some were from General Electric. Some from Motorola. Unii erau de la compania General Electric. Alții de la Motorola. Some were from the Bell Laboratories. Alții de la laboratorul Bell. Some were from the Boston Medical Center. Și alții de la centrul medical din Boston. And some were from Stanford University. Și unii de la Universitatea Stanford. My responsibility was project leader or the pro the senior project engineer. Și responsabilitatea mea era eram uh, conducătorul proiectului sau inginerul uh, senior. We began to work on the design of a microchip. Și am început să lucrăm să proiectăm acest microchip. That When it was completed, astfel încât a trebuit să fie când a fost terminat, was 0.75 millimeters in diameter. Avea un diametru de 0,7 milimetri. Seven millimeters long. Șapte milimetri lungime. It was the size of one fourth of a grain of rice. Era de mărimea a a patra din a unui pop de grâu. O pătri. Again, I want to say that I was not a Christian, and there were no Christians there. Și vreau să vă spun că nici eu nu eram credincioși și nici unul dintre cei care lucram nu știu să fi fost credincioși. They said they wanted this to have a power source and be able to emit a signal. Mi au spus că acest microchip care l-am făcut trebuie să aibă o sursă de energie ca să poată să transmită. And they told us they wanted us to use lithium as a battery source. Și mi au spus că pentru bateria care va trebui să alimenteze să folosim litium. Elementul acesta, litium. Lithium is used in watch batteries. It's used in heart pacemaker batteries. It's used in a lot of places. Litium e folosit în bateriile de la ceas, în cei care au pacemaker, nu știu cum se poromunește, la la inimă, ca să regleze bătăile inimii. I designed into this microchip a little charging circuit that would charge that battery. Și am făcut ca să aibă și un o linie prin care să se încarce aceste baterii. This sounds like a lot of technical things coming together, but if you'll bear with me one minute, you'll see what God has laid out about this microchip. Uh, se pare că aici se vorbim de niște lucruri tehnice care nu prea văd ca o vreo legătură, dar Dumnezeu a lucrat și în privința aceasta în, în ceea ce s-a făcut și o să vă explic mai târziu de ce vă spun aceste lucruri. When we discovered that 
We needed to know, we needed to be able to charge that battery. Când am descoperit că trebuie să încărcăm această baterie, I needed a temperature change, a change in temperature to cause current to flow through that little charging circuit that would charge the battery. Aveam nevoie de o schimbare de temperatură ca să poată să treacă un circuit prin baterie ca să o încarce. So I began to we began to investigate and find out where in the body does the temperature change the most rapidly. Și așa că ne-am dus și am făcut cercetări să vedem în care parte a corpului temperatura se schimbă cel mai mult. We spent over a million dollars in taxpayer money. Am cheltuit un milion de dolari în proiectul acesta din banii celor care plătesc taxele. And when the results came back, și când au venit rezultatele, there were the information uh, there was a lot of information. Era foarte multă informație în legătură cu proiectul acesta. We divided it up amongst three teams. Și le-am împărțit informațiile în, în trei echipe care să le studieze. And then came back together with that information. Și apoi ne-am adunat împreună ca să discutăm informațiile acestea. It was determined that there were two places in the body that were ideal for the microchip. Astfel am ajuns la concluzia că erau două locuri în corpul omenesc care sunt ideale pentru a plasa acest microchip. One was just below the hairline on the forehead. Una era chiar lângă păr, pe frunte. Every mother checks their child's temperature right here. Toate mamele verifică temperatura copilor aici pe frunte. So we could have paid the mothers a million dollars and saved the <laughs> Puteam să le plătim la mame un milion de dolari și ne spuneau ele rezultatul. Nu mai trebuia să facem cercetări. I never saw a mother check their child's temperature on their ankle. N-am văzut nicio mamă să verifice temperatura copilului la glezne. Always right here. Totdeauna aici pe frunte. The other place was the hand, the right hand preferred because most people are right-handed. Alt loc, alt loc era pe mâna dreaptă pentru că majoritatea oamenilor sunt cu mâna dreaptă. Dreptaci. I, this didn't bother me and it didn't bother anybody else on the team. The hand seemed a good place. Nobody wanted it here. And so the design work, everything was completed, the microchip was done. Astfel că munca a fost terminată, proiectul a fost încheiat și microchipul a fost proiectat. You are seeing it now on some of the Discovery Channel presentations. Uh, uh, there are people who have received it already. It is real. It's not something that's Cei coming care way down the road. Cei la televizor ați văzut pe canalul Discovery că vorbesc despre lucrul acesta și sunt oameni care deja l-au. Deci nu e ceva care uh, fantezie, e ceva real. They told me not to read the book of Revelation. Și mi-au spus să nu citesc cartea Apocalipsă. They said the book of Revelation is... Uh, is too hard to understand. So I waited and I didn't read the book of Revelation. For quite some time. Then one day I came to Revelation 13, verse 16. Yeah. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Și-au făcut ca toți, mici și mari, bogați și săraci, slobos și robi, să primească un semn pe mâna dreaptă sau pe frunte. I didn't like what I saw. Nu prea mi-a plăcut ce am citit acolo în Biblie. I went back and looked up the word mark. M-am dus să văd ce înseamnă cuvântul acela semn. I went to the Strong's Concordance. M-am dus la concordanța scrisă de Strong. And I found that John had used three words for the word mark. Și am văzut că Ioan a folosit trei cuvinte pentru cuvântul acesta sem. Char, char, charagma, charagater and charax. Sunt numele pe care le-a folosit în limba originală greacă. That was from the Greek. 
I looked at those words. They talked about a scratch or an etching. They talked about a lot of things. Și am vrut să văd ce sens are cuvintele acestea. Parcă era vorba de o zgrietură sau de o, o linie. And I said, God, this isn't it. We didn't do it. Uh, și am spus, Doamne, nu, nu e asta. Nu ce am făcut noi. He said, go to the word for 666. Și Dumnezeu mi-a zis, mergi la cuvântul care e pentru 666. The word is chixastigma. Cuvântul este chixastigma în limba originală a Bibliei. In the Greek it says to go to 47:42 as a cross. În Greek, în greacă spune să mergi la 4742. The word in 47:42 is the word stigma. Și acest cuvânt este stigma. The last half of the word chixastigma. Ultima parte a cuvântului Cisic Stigma. And when I looked at what it said, și când m-am uitat și am văzut ce spune, it says, Stizo, i.e. to stick, to prick, a mark incised or punched into for recognition of ownership. Și am văzut că însemnează o incizie, o, o înțepătură care se e făcută pentru a arăta proprietatea cuiva sau semnul de proprietate. I thought about the little injection tool, the end of it is called an incisor. Și am uh, gândit la cuvântul care uh, la instrumentul cu care se taie, se face incizie, incizitor, bisturiu. I began to weep and I began to cry and I said, "Oh God, what have we done?" Și am început să plâng și să zic, "Doamne, ce am făcut noi?" Signing the microchip, not interfacing it to the nervous system and this type of thing. But byproducts that came from that were other microchips that that uh, began being used in places like Chino Prison. Instead of a an lesion in the brain, they were using a microchip for sex offenders and child molesters. Now, folks, these things. This was a progression of things that happened. And as it moved along, the chips became more sophisticated, and at one point they determined that we can't use a flat chip that has to be surgically implanted. This won't work. We got into designing uh, cylindrical architecture, got into designing stack, uh, uh, stack strata, and building a, a cylindrical chip. This microchip, in fact, my wife has got one in her purse. It's going to be difficult to pass it around to everybody in here. In some meetings we can do that. Here it would be a little difficult. But this microchip... Very small, fits through an eye of a hypodermic needle. Now, right here in in Spokane or in uh, uh, Sacramento, you have been exposed to this in pets and this type of thing. We've been using it for brands. We've been using it for all kinds of things. Uh, there's a group called InfoPet down in Los Angeles that claims they can keep track of one billion pets to within 10 feet of where they're at. And so these things are here. The reason we're here and sharing with you tonight is is that uh, uh, these things are real, folks. And, the, and we're moving to the positive identification of the microchip. I'm, I'm going to kind of bunch some things together here, but one of the things that happened was we went out, we spent a million and a half dollars uh, doing some research on places to put the microchip. We had determined uh, this chip has 250,000 components, a little lithium battery built into it, and a charging circuit. It fits through a hypodermic needle, and one of the problems was you've got to recharge this thing. You can't run in and change your battery like you do on your watch once a year. And so they've got to recharge this thing. And so we had a charging circuit built into it. And uh, and it was it was a charging circuit built on temperature change. We spent a million and a half dollars, a, one, between 1.2 and a million and a half dollars, trying to determine where the where the places on the body were that the, that the temperature changed the most rapidly. They could have asked any mother. All they'd had to do was ask her. Because the places they came up with, and I've got the, the reports back on it, the places they came up with were just below the hairline, on the forehead and on the back of the right hand. Two places in the body. I think it was kind of interesting because there wasn't an antichrist in that group. There was 100 men involved in it, or actually 101 men and a couple of women involved in the project. There wasn't an antichrist. There wasn't anybody that came in wearing long red underwear and a tail and a pair of horns. Everybody was, uh, they were just... The guys trying to do a job. We had a lot of freedom in, in what we were doing, and we, and we were all trying to do the very best we can. 
One of the things during the project, the project engineer doesn't always get to control everything, and I fought the use of lithium as a battery source. I didn't like the idea of lithium because I felt that, that lithium was a little risky in some areas, and I felt that, that it might cause us some problems. I, I wanted to go to a couple other ones, gilliam arsenide. I wanted to go to a couple other battery sources, and they wouldn't go to that with me. Then I began to understand, after God put the call on my life, and, and I began to look at Scripture, why? And I would like to have you turn with me to Revelation 13, and I'm going to show you some things. The Bible that I had at the time, I read it, and it said in verse 16, it said, And he caused us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Now the Bible I had said on the right hand or on the forehead. I looked at that and I said, Praise God, I didn't do it. I wasn't a part of it. Oh, isn't that good? And the Lord said, Look at the word mark. And I said, But Lord, he said, Look it up in the Greek. And I've got the pages from the Strong's Concordance here so that you can look it up yourself. The word mark is chirogma in the Greek. And it's 5480 in the, in the Strong's Concordance in the, in the Greek. And it says a scratch, an etching, a stamp, as a badge of servitude, or cut into. It takes you to the word charax, which is to sharpen to a point the idea of scratching, a stake, a pointed object, pointed into. I believe what John saw as Jesus was giving him the book of Revelation, I believe what he saw was a hypodermic needle, and I'm going to tell you why. Because in the meetings that I have been in, meetings in Luxembourg, meetings in London, meetings at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel in San Francisco with a lot of these people, I've been in 17 of these One World type meetings, the, the whole idea behind it is identification. And folks, it's not a barcode. You can't contain enough in a barcode. <laughs> First thing is nobody would accept a barcode who wants that thing out there. But I believe it's the microchip under the under the skin. And by the way, I'll go into uh, at the last meeting we a meeting we had this morning, a church that we were in. A man walked up who was a government a government employee right here in Sacramento and said, "I attended a meeting last week where they said key personnel will receive the microchip, government personnel, key personnel." And he was in that meeting. And so we're we're finding these things. Well, God showed me something else. He said, take a look at the, not the numbers 666, but the word for 666. I said, Lord, I didn't know there was one of those. And there is. It is 5516 in the Strong's Concordance, and it's Chicks of Stigma. The 22nd and 14th, an optional letter of the Greek alphabet, intermediate between the 5th and 6th, used as numbers denoting respectively 660 and 6. That takes you to the word stigma. The, the last part of that word is stigma. Now I want you to listen to this carefully because uh, it's, it's, it's really, it was difficult to dig this out. It's difficult to share it with you. The word stigma is to stick or to prick a mark incised or punched for recognition of ownership. And so I looked at all of those and I wept for days. And God said, you let me take care of it. You go and share the message. I set you, O son of man, as a watchman on the wall to sound the trumpet. And if you don't sound the trumpet, their blood is on your hands. But if you sound the trumpet and they don't listen, the blood is on their hands. And folks, I'm here to share these things with you for a reason. There's too many things that have tied together in these days. We have children in Florida right now in daycare centers receiving the microchip identification. It is being used in many, many areas. There's Alzheimer's patients receiving it. The whole thing about the, the pictures on the milk cartons and the paper bags was government funded and that thing was to condition you about lost children. And it has served its purpose and you're seeing it disappear now. You check back and find out who paid for it. There wasn't a committee paying for it. It was paid for through an organization called Evergreen, which is a CIA operation. And they paid for it. Now, I want to, want to point something else out to you. I fought the lithium, and they overruled me, and they used lithium. 
talk to one of the doctors at my Boston Medical Center about the concentration of lithium used in the microchip. I said, what happens if that breaks down? If the chip breaks down, if there's a blow struck and it breaks down. He said, and this guy was an atheist. He said, it'll cause a sore, a, you know, a grievous sore. And I went and I looked at Revelation 16, verse 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped the image. I want to point out something to you folks. That sore is singular. It's sore. They didn't break out with sores. They broke out with a sore. If that might, I believe God's going to pop them microchips all at once for all the people that have cut them, and they're all going to end up with a boil in their hand. Praise God. You know, it's an interesting thing about... God is omnipresent, omnipotent. He is everywhere. But what's the Antichrist got to do? He's got to use every bit of technology he can to keep track of you and I. And so he's going to use everything he can. And that's the reason why I believe we've come to this. It's not an easy message. It's a hard message to go out and give. But I want to tell you something, folks. God is on the throne. And we win. And if you'll check the tomb, it is empty. And we need to be excited about that. We're living in the most exciting time we could ever live in. The reason why you're pulled together as a body of Christ is to be with one another, to support one another, to lift one another up. I had people ask me this morning, uh, well, what should we do? Uh, when's this going to happen? I tell them, you know, the when doesn't make any difference. If you don't know the who, you're in trouble already. I want to tell you something. I'm not selling bomb shelters, folks. I'm not selling a, a place in your backyard to store food. I'm not selling a special glove to wear. I'm not selling anything. I'm sharing with you a message. The technology is here. Now, I want to move on a little bit more in this technology. We now have 23 satellites overhead that can read a postage stamp laying on a tennis court. If you think you're keeping a secret the fact that you're coming to church here, the satellite can read your license plates every 19 minutes without any problem at all. The technology is there. People talk about here a while back, there was flashes across the sky, and they were wondering what it was. These were satellites being taken out of the system. Satellites that their perigee and the epigee will interfere with a new series of satellites that's going up. It was just announced about three weeks ago. We knew it was coming for a long time. They are LEO satellites, low Earth orbiting satellites. These satellites are orbiting 98 to 100 miles up. There is 66 of them being put up by Motorola in conjunction with the Russians. These satellites will do away with all cellular towers, and there will not be a place where you can go to hide. We can pick up your body temperature change right now, the difference between 98.6 and 104, and so we can pick that up. So what I'm telling you is that there's no place that you're going to run and hide. Now, don't get in despair on me, because I want to tell you something. Again, we win. Jesus, Jesus was standing there. They picked up stones to stone him, and he walked back through their midst, and they saw him not. Where are you going to hide? You want to fear what Big Brother's going to do? You want to fear what the government's going to do? I'm going to tell you folks, we're moving rapidly to a cashless society. We're moving to the point where your debit card is going to be it. It is now your credit card and debit card together. And we're moving rapidly towards that. In Clinton and Gore's new book, uh, Putting People First, he says, and Hillary said today, they want every man, woman, and child in the United States to be carrying a smart card. The smart card is a French card. A million of them have already been brought into Maryland in the welfare system. Folks, it has the microchip in it. It is the same readout as the microchip for the back of the hand. And the system is being prepared for that microchip. Now, these cards are coming in. That's the smart card. The ATM machines are being changed so that they will scan this type of thing. These things are moving rapidly. So the, the system is being set up. The message that I have to give you is don't take it. Don't take it. Somebody comes and tries to talk you into this new identification, you've got an answer for them. Don't take it. It says, who are these around the throne, the merits and merits around the throne? These are those that lost their life because they would not take the charagma, the mark. So there's going to be people that are going to lose their lives because they won't take the mark. We are moving rapidly in that direction. The Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare stated that welfare fraud is running $500 million a quarter. He was on a talk show. 
He said that is going to cease by the end of 93. We are going to have positive identification. The talk show host asked him what it was. He said electronic media under the skin. The Immigration and Control Act of 1986, Section 100, states the President has the authority to order whatever type of identification he deems necessary, whether it be electronic media under the skin or whether it be an invisible tattoo. The invisible tattoo was thrown out because it can't be upgraded. The microchip has an E-squared an e prom section of it. It can be, a part of it can be erased and you can write more into it. So you can change the data. The, the chip fits exactly what the Bible says is happening. People say to me, well, what happens if I cross my fingers when they come and bring me the chip, and I take it and I cross my fingers and I really, I really, uh, or I cross my toes or I cross my legs or I do something, and I don't really mean it when they give it to me. I don't have an answer for you except this. Revelation 14, verse 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast in his, in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints, here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Folks, that's the only answer I have for you. I'm saying don't take it. This is not something you can play with and back out of. I have sat there with Gates from the CIA, with Bush when he was with the CIA, with Henry Kissinger and these people in meetings in Luxembourg where they discussed the very thing you cannot control a people if you cannot identify them. And that's why we have $500 million in welfare fraud every quarter is because you can't identify people. You can fake cars. You can counterfeit cars. You can lose cards. You can loan your card to somebody else. But the microchip in the hand, you cannot lose your hand. You might lose your keys, but you can't lose your hand. You can't then staple or mutilate the thing. You can't counterfeit it. And if somebody steals your hand and goes to the market to use it to buy food, the guy's going to know right away something is wrong. Okay? Can you imagine carrying your friend's head into the supermarket and saying, I want to buy these groceries? Folks, it is the ultimate identification. And it is here. It is being used. 17,000 babies were done three years ago. There is no ill effects. We've got, uh, we've got these projects coming. I just talked to a man from Sweden today, and he said they did 6,000 men in Sweden with the microchip and have had no problems at all. It is coming worldwide. You see, this scripture talks about the world. It doesn't talk about just the United States. There is a one world government coming. By the way, there is a one world government under Jesus Christ that's coming. The Antichrist has got to use everything he can do to fake his one world government. Okay?